Dollar Smart 99 Cents App Store. Located at 4811 Diesel Beach Way in Richmond. Telephone number 604-207-0072. For Filipino and other products from Asia, as well as fresh fruits and vegetables, poultry, meats, and seafood, come and visit 88 Supermarket with branches at 4801 Victoria Drive and its new location at 2611 East 49th Avenue in Vancouver. Philippine News Canada is brought to you by Rayford Media Group. Hello mga kabayan, narito na ang pinalawak at pinalakas na coverage ng Philippine News Canada, Balitang Vancouver Nationwide. Mga pangunahing balitang nakalap ng aming news team para sa linggong ito. Mula live dito sa Vancouver Art Gallery for Taiwan Fest 2018, ako po si Rosette Korea. Ito ang Philippine News Canada, Balitang Vancouver. Taiwan Fest 2018 Fet with the Philippines, Tagumpay. Ang Taiwan Fest 2018 Fet with the Philippines ay nagbukas noong September 1 sa Vancouver Public Library Square sa downtown Vancouver. Ang event ay isang three-day festival now celebrating its 15th year. Ngayong taong ito, minarapat ng organizers ng Taiwan Fest na makiakibat with the Philippines dahil na rin sa similar cultures ng dalawang bansa, lalo na sa indigenous peoples nito. Kicking off the three-day flurry of activities in style, nagbukas ang Taiwan Fest with an opening concert sa newly renovated Vancouver Art Gallery Plaza featuring an evening with the music of Vancouver-based Juno nominee Warren Dean Flandes kasama ang award-winning Alba Rukai Children's Choir and the equally talented 13-year-old cellist and classical music fanatic na si Jamie Chan. <laughs> What a great festival, how much it has expanded and enriched uh, our downtown area over the years. So welcome. I, I also want to acknowledge that we're here on the ancestral territories of the Coast Salish First Nation. And I want to congratulate Managing Director Charlie Wu for all of the work that you've done to make this a success and also to the president of the Filipino-Canadian Association of Canada, Joel uh, Castilla, for your part in this. And I'm a proud uh, Canadian who's also had the privilege of going both to Taiwan and spending some time traveling the country, as well as to the Philippines and going to places like Manila, Baguio, uh, Palawan, and so I really, want to reinforce just uh, what amazing places both of those countries are. Nagpadala ng greeting si Prime Minister Justin Trudeau through a Liberal representative at ilang miyembro ng BC's NDP party led by MLA Bruce Ralston, Katrina Chen, Ginny Sims, Raj Chauhan, and George Chow ang dumayo sa opening event. I'm going to read now a uh, message from the Prime Minister, the Right Honourable Justin Trudeau, uh, on, uh, on the occasion of today's event. It is with great pleasure that I welcome you to FET with the Philippines, hosted by Taiwan Fest Canada. Fitting for this year's Dialogue with Asia series, 2018 is also the 120th anniversary year of the Philippine Declara Declaration of Independence. Hello mga kabayan, nandito po tayo ngayon sa Taiwan Fest. Kasama natin si MP Bruce Rawson. The Government of Canada has a trade office in Taipei uh, with a number of people there that uh, we work with. So uh, our trade relations through uh, 
that office and with the uh, huge Taiwanese diaspora here are very good. I mean, they're, uh, it's, an important, uh, it's an important part of uh, the BC economy. Well, thank you so much, Bruce, and um, any messages for our viewers? Always great to, uh, to uh, talk to the viewers, and, uh, and I wish uh, everyone a great fall, back to school and all that sort of stuff. So, and I hope you had a great summer, and uh, looking forward to uh, what uh, the fall will bring for all of us. Thank you so much, and more power to you. Thank you very much. And my name is Charlie Yu. I'm the Managing Director for Asian Canadian Special Events. And Eddie Kuo is our um, longtime uh, host and also now a very key uh, person with the uh, organization team. Uh, his official title is Assistant General Manager. And before we start, and I usually forget about them, but it's so important to bring them out before we start everything. Without them, this wouldn't be possible. May I introduce uh, our team? Come on up. This is, uh, this is not, volu not everyone is volunteer, but uh, the core team that organizes Taiwan Fest this year. And we have some members that, uh, from Taiwan. You know, they organize uh, their work in Taiwan and some are local. And without them, the festival wouldn't happen. So I'd like to uh, use this opportunity to, to make sure they're acknowledged. Uh, before we get everything started. Okay, let's give them uh, a round of applause. <laughs> I guess my uh, Filipino friends know this is Cebu. Organizer Charlie Wu, ito ang unang pagkakataon na naisama sa Taiwan Fest ang Philippines through the United Filipino Associations of BC or UFCABC at ito raw ay isang matagumpay na pagsasama dahil pati na rin sa suporta ng Filipino community and through the efforts of its media partner Rayfort Media. Ang festival ay ginanap sa dalawang Canadian cities this year sa Toronto at sa Vancouver at ito ay nagaganap taon-taon. Hello mga kabayan, nandito po kami ngayon sa Vancouver Art Gallery for the Taiwan Fest. Kasama natin ang organizer ng event. He is Charlie Wu of the Asian Canadian Special Events Association. Hi Charlie. Hi. How, How are, are you? you? I'm good. How are you? I'm very good. Thanks. Well, this is indeed a special day for uh, the Filipinos and for the Taiwanese as well. Tell us a little bit more about Asian uh, Taiwan Fest. Well, Taiwan Fest is its uh, uh, 29th year in Vancouver. However, we have this dialogue with Asia series. 
started two years ago. So this is our third episode, and we're so happy to have the Filipino as a community to have a dialogue. How did this come about? How did the Filipino become involved with the Taiwan Fest? Well, uh, as Taiwan and Philippines are so close together, and sometimes we see each other as neighbors, but in reality, there's also perhaps relatives uh, connections uh, between the two. Uh, we have both indigenous com communities are connected with uh, Austronesian uh, roots and there's also uh, Filipino uh, migrant workers in Taiwan and they have done so much for Taiwan and they also found their passion in Taiwan so this is a way to, to kind of explore our ties between the two, uh, two cultures. Now what, do, uh, what will the people expect from Taiwan Fest this year? Oh, we have lots of uh, performances from uh, indigenous community in Taiwan and little kids are uh, singing choirs and we also have a Filipino a Pinoy block uh, full of uh, fi uh, Filipino community activities and, and tonight we have uh, Warren Fernandez, uh, the local uh, Filipino sensation and as well as tomorrow uh, Mario Sobaldia and he's going to be putting on his fashion show. He's the uh, migrant worker in Taiwan who turned artist and fashion designer and he's done so much in Taiwan that's unbelievable. He's also an inspiration for many Filipinos in Taiwan so we thought it's a wonderful story to share here in Vancouver. How long is uh, the Taiwan Fest going to be? Well we will be here until Monday. Uh, we are always uh, happening, the, the event always happens at Liberty Weekend uh, here in Vancouver and, and the, the same festival will take place uh, in Toronto at Harborfront Centre last weekend. That's wonderful and congratulations, it's a very successful event. Would you like to invite our viewers to Taiwan Fest? Uh, I would like to uh, invite everyone to come down and then check out the Granville Street as well as the Vancouver Art Gallery and we have lots of different uh, activities and performances and of course the lots of food as well. Thank you very much Charlie and more power to you. Thank you so much. Isang jeepney mock-up ang isa sa mga main features ng event. Ito ay nakasetup along Robson Street and the public flock to it. Ayon kay Wu, since Vancouver cannot come to the Philippines to ride the jeepney, we brought the jeepney to Vancouver. Nakapanayam din ng PNC Balitang Vancouver si UFC ABC President Joel Castillo tungkol sa participation ng Pilipinas at ng Filipino community sa Taiwan Fest 2018. Hello mga kabayan! Nandito po tayo ngayon sa Taiwan Fest. Kasama natin ang President, ang ever active and ever beloved President of the UFC ABC, si Joel Castillo. Hello Joel! Hello, Rosette. <laughs> nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. <laughs> okay, so paano na involve ang UFC ABC sa Taiwan Fest? Actually, uh, we, we got involved sa Taiwan Fest uh, through the recommendation of some individuals. First of all, from the Philippine Consulate through Consul General Neil Ferrer. And of course, on one of the writers of uh, Georgia Street. Maybe they have seen something... Uh, very significant to what we are doing in the community. And, and it's true, they, you know what, the work of UFC ABC has been phenomenal in terms of uh, community work and, and uh, conduit with other communities in Vancouver, di ba? For sure, yeah. So, ano bang i-expect ng mga, Pino, mga Pinoy at saka ng mga Taiwanese sa Taiwan Fest this, uh, this year? With, all col with our collaboration with the Taiwan Fest organizers, no, they, they have given us a block for intended for Pinoy block. So where you can see an activation of the different uh, groups from the from the different uh, community in our in our Filipino community. So during the first night, uh, they incorporated some of our artists like Warren Flandes, you know, and of course the second day our famous designer, which uh, gave them a very strong impression about his works as a migrant worker in Taiwan. That's why they are bringing him here in the person of Mario Sobeldia and a philanthropist, uh, Jenny Huang. Okay. Yes. So yung fashion show, when, when will that be? The fashion show will start tomorrow at, uh, at 8 o'clock. In the morning? I, at night. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, showing the creations of Mario Sobeldia. And, when, and where will that be? It will be in the main stage at the Vancouver Art Gallery. Okay. Yes. Inaasahang sasama uli ang Pilipinas sa susunod na Taiwan Fest in the years to come.
dollar smart 99 cents app store. Located at 4811 Diesel Beach Way in Richmond. Telephone number 604-207-0072. For Filipino and other products from Asia, as well as fresh fruits and vegetables, poultry, meats, and seafood, come and visit 88 Supermarket with branches at 4801 Victoria Drive and its new location at 2611 East 49th Avenue in Vancouver. Rotary Club, bumisida sa residents ng Banfield Pavilion. Bumisita sa mga residente ng Banfield Pavilion ng Vancouver General Hospital ang Rotary Club Vancouver Mountain View District 5040 upang magbigay saya sa mga ito through a carnival-themed event. Nakapanayam din ng PNC Balitang Vancouver si Margie Shirkoff ng BC Produce Association at nagbigay siya ng ilang insights tungkol sa healthy eating. Hi, I'm Margie Shirko. I'm with BC Produce Marketing Association. We represent Eating Healthy. And our true purpose of being here is to make full awareness that not only do we have young people that are eating healthy, it's so important to have the older folks have the opportunity to know that they're getting the best possible nutritious meal that's being offered to them in the retirement home. Our message that we drive right across Canada is to eat healthy and to drive fresh fruits and vegetables to go on a plate. Our association is made up of the growers here in British Columbia, uh, wholesalers, retailers, uh, sh product that comes from all over the world will come into Vancouver and Vancouver is the most amazing port city that will bring in produce from all over the world and again the produce message is it's a health message we're very aware that di uh, diabetes is at, on a rise it's important that if we can drive that message to eat healthier that message is going to make a difference for groups uh, up, up north that are not getting their fresh fruits and vegetables that we can get it there with the federal government and the provincial government working together to have the most the best opportunity for every child, every adult, and every retiree, and everyone that's in a hospital or institution. This is important to us. Objective ng event ang magbigay saya sa mga residente nitong may iba't ibang physical abilities at nagbigay sila ng mga typical carnival snacks, live music, and game tables. Ang focus ng event ay family, food, and fun. Sa isang exclusive coverage, nakapanayam ng PNC Balitang Vancouver ang ilang mga volunteers sa nasabing event. So, And what other activities you're you're doing? So after Banfield, so we have some games. We have lots of carnival type of games like bean toss game, ring toss, a splat balloon. Where Rotary has very generously donated to us to make sure that we have this, uh, enough money to support the supplies. We have Jordy over here with a painter who's painted all the games. Come on in, Jordy. Hello. Hi there. Easier on the day off, and we have lots of facilities, maintenance, and operations staff volunteering today. Thank you. My name is Nancy Eidsvik. I am the assistant governor for District 5040, and my role is to assist the Rotary Club of Vancouver Mountain View in their activities. And so this morning we are here participating in the Banfield Carnival Festival, and Marianne will explain to you what the club is doing at this event. Hi, I'm the president-elect, I'm Mary Ann, I'm the president-elect of uh, Rotary Club of Vancouver Mountain View. The Rotary Club of Mountain View is here as our per first project for community service, initiated by the community head, uh, Chris Loredo. Uh, we help the Banfield uh, organizes this one 
through the funds that we shared, the time and volunteer that we are having right now. Uh, the Rotarians are having the fun uh, helping the patients play the different games. Hi, my name is um, Glory. Uh, I'd like to invite ev uh, everyone to uh, join us in uh, our upcoming events, uh, the gala night that will um, that will be um, that will be on November three this uh, this year. Um, it's a fundraising. Okay, bye. So that's one. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Sorry. My name is Fred. Oh, Fred. Yeah. The broccoli guy. The broccoli guy. Okay. It's nice to be spent. Why broccoli. <laughs> because it's the best vegetable ever. Oh yeah. It's in an exclusive interview, nakausap ng PNC Balitang Vancouver si Darren Forrest, ang head ng pavilion tungkol sa event. To introduce you, Darren Forrest is the FMO supervisor and he helped so much for this uh, event to be successful today. He will explain to you how this uh, boils up and to be like this today. All the games were kind of built in-house in our department and then what we did was took the completed games and took them out to different clinical wards and got participation from the patients uh, and uh, and clients of the hospital and all the games are developed were built and painted differently we've also had volunteers coming in from staff members kids and people coming into the shops to do them up it was a project that sort of touched a lot of people um, anything you can add for the next uh, what's next after this well, the next, the next area is going to be developing new venues for this to be used at. When we've got them all now. They're portable games. We're going to be shipping them out to different places and, and use it as a fundraiser for, and fun for other, other sites. A memorable summer getaway located at Lake Iran. One does not have to drive far from his own backyard here in the Lower Mainland. A great family staycation that gives you the summer feels of a rustic cottage that is embraced with a beautiful lakeside view. From sunrise to sunset, you can enjoy the water activities from kayaking, paddle boat, fishing, or just endless hours of swimming.
our family surely enjoyed creating lasting summer memories. Nagpapasalamat po kami sa aming mga sponsors, ang Dollar Smart 99 Cents and Up Store sa Richmond, ang Kabalan Sweets Restaurant and Catering sa New Westminster, at ang 88 Supermarket na may two branches na sa Victoria Drive and Killarney Market. Maraming maraming salamat po. At dito na naman nagtatapos ang aming balita para sa linggong ito. Kung kayo ay mga komento, mga issue o balitang nais niyong ibahagi sa aming programa, ang PNC ay bukas para sa inyong lahat. Mag-email lamang po sa balitangvancouver at gmail.com o tumawag sa 604-588-6397. Mula po dito sa Vancouver Art Gallery for Taiwan Fest 2018, FET with the Philippines, ako po si Rosette Correa. At ito ang Philippine News Canada, Balitang Vancouver. Dollar Smart 99 Cents App Store, located at 4811 Diesel Beach Way in Richmond. Telephone number 604-207-0072. For Filipino and other products from Asia, as well as fresh fruits and vegetables, poultry, meats, and seafood, come and visit 88 Supermarket with branches at 4801 Victoria Drive and its new location at 2611 East 49th Avenue in Vancouver.